Hey there guys, Zephyrin's Vanguard here, and welcome to this next episode of Let's Play GoldenEye007. Uh, last episode, we actually had a fairly easy time in St. Petersburg. So, uh, this that means this episode is probably going to be horrible. Again, let me reiterate, if you've come for good gameplay, remove yourself from the video. Uh, as you can see, this level includes Natalia again, which is unfortunate for me. It also seems to be indoors, so that's also unfortunate. But first of all, we have to escape from the interrogation room, because if you saw the end of last episode where I got rudely interrupted, not rudely, it, it was my fault for choosing this time to record. And uh, it might happen again, because there's still someone home. Hopefully not, though. I should be in a situation where I shouldn't be interrupted, at least not that much. But aside from that, when that happened, though, we got ar arrested by like, the Russian Minister of Defense. I can't remember what his proper name is, but that, that's essentially his role. And uh, he captured us, both Natalia and Bond, took us in, so we have to escape from the interrogation room, find Natalia, recover the helicopter black box, which, you th I mean, you think he would have just grabbed it from the helicopter wreckage if he was so concerned about it. And then we have to escape with, with Natalia. Captured by the Russians, Bond must escape their military prison. Pretty self-explanatory. Also, this military prison, apparently it's straight up in the middle of St. Petersburg, so take that as what you will. Like, in the downtown part of the city, so I I'm not quite sure how that would work. Usually, military prisons are away from all of that stuff, especially in Russia where you know they have... Siberia, which is the definition of the middle of nowhere. I'm just saying, you think they would utilize that? I mean, they did in horrible ways prior, but you, I, I'm still saying. But they had to have a set piece for the movie, so that's why they did it there. Again, <laughs> captured again. Sorry, I just paid attention to that. Yeah, I was right. Defense Minister. That was his proper title. He's a reasonable man for a member of the Politburo. Again, Q isn't giving us any help. <laughs> I can't hold your hand all the time. I thought we already got the flight recorder. I thought that was the last one of last time. Ha, ah, it's the theme. Crew? Crew operatives! So, here we are. Drop that what? Oh! Oh, they just started shooting me right away. Oh, hey. Oh, that, that was a poor decision. What? <laughs> um... Bright guys kept the key since, well, I guess they kind of needed the key inside with them, but that wasn't a good start. We'll just see how far we go before I die again. Yeah, that doesn't happen in the movie. I'm pretty sure it takes them out with hand-to-hand -hand combat. I thought there was going to be like a scene or something. I thought there was going to be like a scene or something, but nah, nah. Also, these are cramped quarters. Sorry, bud. I shot your hat off. I'm very sorry about that. On the bright side, in this scenario, I think the close quarters could actually help me. If only we had the ability of CQC. Oh, hey. Yeah, I mean, I'm dead. So, let's just roll with it. Somehow I managed to survive all that, and we got us... Uh... Oh, hey. Should I take this? I might take... I might take this. These these guns aren't too bad. I might also grab your AK. Uh, I gotta admit, I like the Tokarevs. They feel very powerful. That's what I like about them. Got a lot of oomph to them. Very different compared to their appearance in a typical World War II games where they feel weak as crap. Especially... I mean, pistols in general and... Uh, Military shooters generally feel weak as crap for balancing purposes, but those in particular, like even out of, um, even compared to the Walther or the Luger or the 
cult, they still feel underpowered then. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, no, that wasn't the right room. Anyway. So, yeah, that went well. So, Alright, so what happens if we start moving? Do they... Can I take ammo? What do you know about the theft of the golden eye? I don't know, man. Ormoff stole it. He's a... Tr I mean, he, he is right. Bond isn't lying. Yeah, but this... Oh, the... They, they saw right through me. No, don't! Bon, you're supposed to karate chop downwards. They could tell what I was trying to do. So they do interrogate you. That's that's interesting. I might show that off next... All of that next time. I mean, he was a hero of the Soviet Union, but this isn't the Soviet Union anymore. Like I was saying earlier, that's a big point of the movie. I know it wasn't that far off. It was on like... What? Like... Four or five years afterwards when the movie is set, so yeah. Not not long after uh, the fall, but nonetheless. He's not a hero of the same country. No, nope, can't break the glass. They have fortified windows in here. Dang it. I tried to shoot over his shoulder, but it didn't quite work out. Oh, body armor. Hey, I didn't even notice it there. You think I could be more stealthy if I'm facing against the screw? Never mind. You know, both this game and uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 mentioned... Oh, oh no, these are execution spots. That's unfortunate. But, as I was trying to say, uh, because I'm probably not going to last too long... Both this game and Metal Gear Solid 3 mention, uh, Gru, G-R-U, whatever it is. They pronounce it Gru in Metal Gear Solid 3. And, uh, obviously they're also a pretty important part of history. Being an agency for one of the most powerful nations of the 20th century. But aside from that, I really don't know exactly what they do. Obviously they're related to the military, but I don't know exactly what. I'll have to figure that out on my own. Maybe some of you know your Soviet history better than me. Anything up here? Death for you, bud. What's in here? Ha! You turned around at the wrong time. Uh-oh. Somehow I killed ya. Man. So maybe the close quarters isn't perfect. It's still kind of preferable because it it gives you a lot of wiggle room. Of course, this open space isn't too bad either. These bookcases have surprisingly nice textures on them, being able to tell the detail like that. Huh? No, no, no. Let me grab your weapon. Clob? If I... Nah, that's too low ammo to dual wield. Oh god, this is hefty. Lots of ammo for this weapon. What's over here? I, I'm pretty sure I didn't grab everything out of that room, but, you know, it happens. It's not like I'm going to survive anyways. I only have, like, one hit left. Or maybe even no hits left, depending on the weapon, so... It's not like I'm expecting to survive... The guards aren't always alerted, which is a little weird. Oh, this is the same room. Sorry you didn't survive, bud. Let's run in here. That was a bad decision. No life left. What? Hey! Oh. There was a guy behind me shooting me, wasn't there? Yeah, I can see the bullets flying. Oh yeah, <laughs> he just mowed me in my back. Anyway, like I said, I'll show you that whole interrogation conversation because that seems a bit interesting. I love how they keep that little jingle. Grant Kirkhope, you still did a good job. Anyway, let's... Uh, don't get too close. 
No, don't, don't. What happens if I get close? No, I won't test now. So yes, he is a traitor. Like I said, he's not a hero of your country anymore. Bond also laying down the truth. You are nothing but a terrorist. Also, probably counting the truth, if we're being honest. You will be executed along with that foolish girl. Also, probably the truth if I don't do anything about it. That she does. I mean, she's literally the sole survivor of the one that didn't perpetrate it. Oh, no. Kill the spy at- whoa. Oh, that's... No! I mean, that didn't go completely horribly. It was pretty bad, but not awful. Alright. Uh, let's use this. I'm assuming the green guys are like proper, um, proper, close the door. Oh, that's why I can close it. I'm assuming the green guys are proper, uh, Russian military considering, uh, they had the same uniforms for, uh, the Soviet army. So, so, um, uh, I'm assuming the black guys in black are like some kind of intelligence or maybe homeland security sort of thing. Something like that. Whatever it is, they're well armed. Nope. Oh, God. I tr almost got through that shot without any damage. Oh, God. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, I'm not living through this. Note to self, don't wait for the guards to come in and kill you. Because otherwise you are in a heap of trouble. That much is a heap of trouble. Anyway, that was all the conversation, so I'll meet you back. Uh, also, they didn't bother tying me up. That's kind of... That's, that, that's their first flaw. But before any of this, I'll just cut... I mean, there's more stuff to explore on the bottom floor, so I'm, I'll just come back to when something interesting happens. Okay, so sometimes you can kill both of them without any issue. Yeah, so sometimes you can kill both of them without raising an alarm. I don't know if that guard's still going to come in here or not. I would assume so. His routing probably hasn't changed. But whatever. Please don't tell me that raised an alert. I think that raised an alert. No? I'm still I'm still being stealthy. What do you know? Never mind, there's in the stealth. Guy turned around at the most inopportune time. Come on! Gosh, that door sucks. Alright, body armor, that's a good deal, just don't blow up the box, because that's not a good deal. Did I pick up? I need to pick up this just so I have some spare ammo, because God knows what's going to happen. Oh god! Well, this is already going swimmingly. Thank god they AK so good. Nothing in here? No? It seems like if you're able to run around enough, you might be able to lose them, which is pretty good. So now we're up on the top floor. 
I still don't think there's anything this way. No, no black boxes. Oh! That was... Th that's also bad. So, be careful when you decide to reload up here. You might be in a load of trouble. This is better. Still not optimal. There was a guy right behind me. That's bad news. Two guys right behind me. That's even worse news. Also, you stop that. Alright, this room again. Let's run down here. Nothing? Nothing. Just pain. Oh, hey. How, how you doing, bud? Get away. Also, I don't quite even want to know what shot me. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, he shot me. I'm getting cornered, pinned, whatever the term is. Alright, let's run through here. About a half health, that's not good at all. Especially since I'm wasting ammo fairly rapidly. Is there even anything up here for me? Not seeming quite like it. No, nothing over here. Oh, great. More guards. Stall them. If I run out of AK ammo, I'm going to switch to the... Actually, why don't I go ahead and do that? Not you. You! Oh, that is a lot of ammo. Uh, unfortunately, it's only so much before I have to reload. Which is my main concern. Let's close that. No, close it. Close it, Bond. There we go. Is there really nothing up here? I could have... I would swear... So it seems like you can lose them. That's interesting, because sometimes it seems like the guards universally know where you are. Other times, not so much. Oh, I thought I would sneak around him. Bon, use your aiming abilities. Anything over here? Side rooms I can sneak? Oh my god! Well, found Natalia. I'm scared. Let oh, that's that's horrible. So I found what they were hiding up here, at least. Natalia, you better not be dead. I'm going to be pissed if you already died. Where even are you? Is she dead? She She's probably dead. I don't see her behind me. Well, I mean, we found her. I just don't know if she survived. If not, I don't know how you're supposed to enter that room without having her immediately shot and killed. What's around here? Natalia might have just gone ahead and run along. I'm not quite sure. Well, here's the stairs to... Oh no, this isn't the same area as before. What do you know? Can I dual wield? Yeah, that's... This is good. I like this. Black box, black box, no black box. Huh? No, that was a marking on a crate. Just looking around for any signs, because as we know, it could just be doing that. Just lying around in the middle of nowhere. I didn't mean to fire there. That's unfortunate. That means an enemy is probably going to come charging along my way. Uh, there are so many doors. I don't know where to even start. Let's start over here. No, no, no. Not over there. Maybe over here. Start this. No? All right. Note to self, make sure you do go into that central room. What's this? Oh! Still alive? Are you serious? Objective C fit. 
he destroyed the black box, didn't he? The safe is locked. Alright, I don't know where the black box is. I don't even know where I am. So, it's probably something to do with that safe. That would be my guess. So this is the bottom room. You can get there from over here. Note to self. Just making a mental map of this area. Oh, that's where we could have. We could have just exited out of there and lost them the whole time. That's unfortunate. Still, I should get a layout of this level because I need to make sure I get that black box correctly next time. I'm just saying, if a black box isn't destroyed by a helicopter crash, I don't know how else they could destroy it. Sorry, by a helicopter explosion, no less, from its own missiles? Well, in the game canon, it's uh, by a bomb, but still. Helicopters, when they explode, tend to be uh, pretty harsh on any and all surrounding objects, so I think we could have come up at him from behind over here. Yeah, shot him from there, yeah. So we have to come up around around this door. I wish some of these doors would just at least act like they're double hinged because that would be most convenient for you. Alright, so on my next run when I come down this hallway don't go down through there. Come in through here around over here and over here. He might have just, like, thrown away the key or something to the safe it's probably in. But, it, eh, we'll see about that next time. I'm assuming it's in that safe. That would be my assumption. Well, unfortunately, I have no idea where to go from here. So, uh, we'll just kind of venture around until I leave the area without Natalia. There, there was just someone's hat lying around. How much do I have for... That's not much for the AK. There's Portrait of Karl Marx. I mean, of course they would have that lying around, don't you? So, we come down that hallway. What about... what? Ha what's down here? You got captured again? Natalia. Alright. Well, I got shot again. <sighs> why, Natalia, why are you like this? Well, see you guys next go round. I'm basically going to be following the same route as last time, so just so you know. Let's. There's stairs here? There's an attic? What do you know? So this is how you're supposed to get around there without any hassle. You can probably... Don't want to get spotted. You can probably uh, snipe the guards that are around Natalia from up here. If only I had a silenced weapon. No? Still? Nothing. I mean... Yeah, you can't peek out from under there. I guess this is just an area of safety? Relative safety? Um, let's drop down from over here. No, uh, Bond. That's death. What about over here? Is that... That's also death. These all seem to be... One way drops. Let's karate chop. We're back out of the radar. Never mind. Back on the radar. Oh god, no! Things wouldn't have got us gone so well if I hadn't gone into that office and Natalia hadn't that Natalia was in earlier and uh it hadn't blown up on me the whole office because that's how these things work open up I wanna I wanna kill you like that see wasn't so hard also relative security 
AK? AK is probably my best bet. Where are you? I don't like you. Get away. Oh, there you are. The problem is, he wasn't the one that was shooting me. These black guards are the ones that worry me, because they can aim so readily. Oh! Speaking of black guards... Natalia! Natalia, I swear. Alright, well, thing is, I don't know where Mishkin is. Can you lead the way? Is that why you got captured last time? Or are you just going to stick with me? Because I'm going a different way, Natalia. Stay with me. Alright, so I got this far. I still don't know exactly where to go. Yeah, stick with me. Don't disappear. No, not that one. That's dangerous. That leads to a big area. Come on through. I'm not scared of you. Come on through. Come on through, Natalia. You can do it. Closest behind us. Just because I don't like enemies seeing me in the hallway. And lastly... So, oh, that's Mishkin, isn't it? If I kill him, that's that's the issue. We could escape through those through the library windows. All right. Let's see how that's done first and foremost. I don't know why you got captured again last time. I thought I saved you, but oh well. So apparently there's multiple rooms Natalia can be in at the very least because uh, since she did reappear in that last one, are these the library windows? Or are we we going to the top we're going to the top floor now. That's it. I'm assuming. Oh. At the very least, let's see how we do that. Just so we can know for sure. Will uh, Mishkin give us the I'm assuming Mishkin will give us Oh wow. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to do it. So, I'm going to not shoot that guy this time around. I'm just going to let Natalia talk to him. So, I'll cut ahead to that. Alright. Yeah, so this is Mishkin right here. It appears that you were correct, Bond. Jeez, it would have helped if you were wearing something other than the uniform of the black things. General Oromov is our traitor. Even trusted friends are capable of betrayal. Like, seriously, you're wearing the exact same uniform as the guys that I was shooting and ordered my execution? Do you need the black box from the stolen copter? Well, thank you for being so cooperative. It is in the safe. Thank you. Oh, that's why we need it. I thought he was just... Oh. Well, now we know. I must inform the Politburo of Oromov's deceit. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. So, are we free to go now? Will you call off the attack? Or are they going to be upset that I killed several of them? Because, like, I did some murdering. I hope you don't mind. There's our black box. I know it's orange, but deal with it. Oh, that was the same thing as before. They just confiscated it from us. That, that explains it. Yeah, that's still the black box from before. Oh, hey. Nope. Ain't quite so easy there. Also, why the random explosion? Natalia? She died. She died. One of those random explosions killed her. Why? 
Why? I was so close to being done, game. Are we supposed to jump out of the window? Because... Like, that's what ended it last time, but Natalia wasn't suggesting anything. Also, there's clearly a door right here, so... Maybe that's the wrong window. We'll see. Yeah, that... In fact, that is the wrong window. We're supposed to exit up there on the other side. So, mea culpa, mea culpa. Now, I'll cut ahead to that actually happening. Just one more run through this level. So that courtyard is completely pointless. All it is is a death trap for you. Sorry, I headed out the wrong direction. Like I said, I'll meet you there. Actually, why don't I show you how I typically do this level, just as a recap, because if you go the wrong way, it can easily screw you up. First of all, karate chop that guy. Quickly get out of the way of this guy. Don't fire. It's okay if they fire, just make sure you dodge out of the way. Just don't fire your gun quite yet. Come this way. Be very careful coming out this door. Come up to this box. Run around and hit this guy. Some I, I still don't know what determines whether they die or not. Like I said, it's okay if they fire their weapon because it doesn't seem to raise the alarm as much. Around here. This guy... If you dodge to the side once they duck down, then generally you're safe from the bullets. Run over here. Grab your body armor. Don't go that way. Instead, come around here to this guy. And, uh, wait around a little bit for that guy to walk on by. To kill him. Now, I still don't know which way is actually the exit, so we're going to have to go loud here. Kinda. I mean, James, cooperate. There we go. Don't, no need to go loud quite yet. Just come over here. No, no, no. Alright. Game time. We loud. So like I said, if you know what to do, this level actually isn't long at all, so. I'm assuming you would have to do more stuff on the higher difficulties, but that's... Neither here nor there. Oh! Now I know what this up here is for. It's so when you come up here, you can dive down one of the... No, never mind. It's death. So disregard that. I'm going to cut ahead to when I can safely exit the room. Because as you can see, the enemies up here will start to swarm you. Which is very bad. And uh, sometimes random explosions will kill you. I'm assuming they're throwing grenades. That's what's causing it. But it's not fun in any case, so be mindful. Alright. Come on, Natalia. Out, out, out. So, never mind. She dead. Grenade killed her. Oh, lordy have mercy. Anyway, I'll cut up to... When I actually managed to get through there. I'm pretty sure it's the black guys that have the grenade. Guys in black have the grenades. You see, they're wearing the same uniform as Mishkin. The only difference is he's not wearing a beret. He does have black hair, though, so... All right. Dude. But I'll cut ahead. I'll cut ahead to when I can rescue Natalia. Well, you've kind of seen... Once I rescue Natalia, you've kind of seen how it goes from there. You've seen how I get to Natalia, roughly. I can't get to her on, ste on stealth alone, so... Uh, yeah, I can't get to her on stealth alone, so I... Uh, once I enter that library room, things go loud and you know how it works from there. So I'll just cut to... Having the black box and jumping out of the window. Now let's do this. Out of the way. I gotcha. Out of the way, Natalia. Out of the way. Alright, come on. Come on. We, we can get him. Alright. 
I think we're in the clear now. Roughly in the clear now. Come on. Where are you? Where are you, honey? You got captured again, didn't you? Either that or you already died. So now we know where to go again if she gets captured. Because if she gets off the screen even slightly, she's captured again. Down here. No? That's bad news for me. It didn't say mission failed, so she didn't die. There's that at least. We're out of life again, so I, I guess I'm showing this since this hasn't really happened before. Usually she's in there. But I guess I'll come down over here. Uh, That's death? She might be down this way, because I'm pretty sure that other way is the stairs that links to the armory, or... The, no... I think I... I think I messed up. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I was wrong. This is the armory. So... I don't exactly know where she is. That could be a problem. It didn't say sh that she died, did it? Incomplete, so not failed. AKA, she's still alive. Somewhere. Where is the question? So, wait, so if that was the armory, then what's this? Oh. Oh. Is she back in there? Surely she's not back in the same room. Well, I got a hand grenade, so I can have payback on those guys if I so desire. I did see a guy up in the attic area earlier. Maybe he has something to do with all this. So Michigan will still talk to us, so that's good. So yeah, or Mob will still talk to us even if we don't have Natalia. So continue along, bud. Just give me the key so I can go hunt for Natalia again. Alright. Um, Natalia, where are you? You just screamed my name. I don't know where you are. There you are. You ran up and hid in the... Oh. Are there guys over there? No. So you ran up and hid in the attic. But you know what? It's okay. Already got uh, the black box. So we're all good now. Alright. Just need to come over here. There's no enemies, surprisingly. I think I killed them all. So are we good? You still behind me? Did you get lost again? You got lost again. Are you serious? You got stuck in the wall. You are a very incompetent woman, ma'am. Been there, done that. Um. Well, that's complete, so I'm just going to assume you follow me. Yeah, we already talked to Mishkin. So note to self, if you don't see a Natalia immediately... Well, we did it! Apparently, Bond is incapable of telling her that we've already talked to Mishkin, but it doesn't matter, because we did it! Huh, that was a bit of a hassle for me. It, this has been an hour-long recording session. But it didn't seem that long. So that was actually a pretty good level, I must say. Especially since you could actually properly stealth through it. Well, a good chunk of it. So, now I've shown you how to do things that could help. Anyway, our next level is in the streets of St. Petersburg, so that'll be next time. Ugh. I'm sorry if I didn't cut out too much of that episode. My strategy was just constantly evolving a little bit, but, you know, it happens. I think... If I'm not mistaken, that's the farthest any of these... Well, no, that one's gone a little bit farther than me. I, th I was going to say, I think that's the farthest any of these save files have gone. Any from the previous owner of this game. 
But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.